Hi hey, Vikings, today we're going to be talking about growing responsibly. This sounds like a really boring topic, but it's probably not what you're uh, thinking. It gets to the kind of the golden rule of influence growth, and that is how much of your influence should be troops. One of the biggest mistakes I see players making, especially if they're coming from other games like uh, Game of War, is that they think that troops are the end-all be-all of the game. Make tons of troops, and you can fight anyone. That doesn't work so much in this game. Uh, you want to keep your, your actual influence from troops pretty low. The rule that I kind of was taught when I started playing the game is 10% of your influence is troops. Now this does change based on how you're playing. If you're a trap account, you're probably going to have a higher amount of that as troops. Um, now this is going to be tier 1 or tier 3 troops, so it's not big troops. But um, and then maybe if you're a mid to high end player on your server and you're trying to be able to withstand enough hits to uh, stay unshielded during KVK or CVC, then it might also be useful to um, kind of have a little bit more than 10%. But if you're going over 20% of your influence as troops, then you're doing something wrong in almost every situation. So the reason for that is you only have one or two heroes. So if you're attacking or you're reinforcing, you can only use your march size times one or two. So even if you're a huge player, that's going to be a million troops. If you're a smaller player uh, with boosts on you, maybe 400, 500k troops. So everything else in your city is essentially useless when you're attacking or defending. And if you're a small size player, having a lot of troops in your city isn't really going to protect you from being hit by a larger player, it just means they're going to kill more and they're going to get more points for those kills. So you want to keep your troop percentage fairly low. Um, if you're a billion influence player and you're hitting a 500 million influence player, but 500 million of your influence is in troops and say 20 million of their influence is in troops, you're actually the same size player during that combat because 400 and something million influence is just sitting in your town not doing anything and all of those all the boosts and the resources used on those troops could have been put towards knowledge that makes the troops that are actually fighting much stronger so again this isn't an ironclad rule but you want to you want to stay between 10 and 20 percent of your influence as troops typically if we go to my influence, um, I'm actually below that right now. I'm at about 6% of my influence uh, as troops, and it would have been it's normally a little bit closer to 10%, but there was an incident yesterday where I fought a 32 billion player and did not go very well. I'll get into that in another video. But, yeah, so try to keep your, your troop percentage fairly low. And that's it for this video. If you found this uh, interesting or helpful, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. And if you have any questions about this video or you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you all next time.